hello lovely people and welcome back to my youtube channel i know i had promised to be consistent and i have failed you on that but i will really try my level best to be showing up on this channel please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel help me grow this family please help me grow this family so today's video is a random q and a it's kind of like a get to know me tag but not really a get to know me tag i found i saw these questions on someone's wall on facebook and i thought it would be fun for me to do to answer those questions here so yeah i hope you guys will like it i have done a get to know me tag but it's a motherhood edition sort of thing so it's all about my experience as a mother and everything motherhood is in that video so this one will be more about me my thoughts and all that i really hope you guys will love it so i'm talking too much let's just get straight into the video by the way disclaimer if you see me looking down i have the questions in my notebook so yeah i have to read from here the first question is if you had to pick one what is the most important value you will teach your children honesty kindness or courage i will teach my children courage because a courageous person will always go after what they want what they believe in and they they always fight for what they truly believe that is rightfully theirs for me i am not really a courageous person if i may say so because i, I procrastinate so much and i'm not really that kagogeta i i i'm the kind of person who kwanza nengiza kamgu ndani nisike how hot the water is before going all in so i'd really like to teach my children courage for them to know that it is okay to just try things just take the risk the number of times you fall that is how much you learn that is how we all learn making mistakes that is how you learn don't fear making mistakes what did your past relationship teach you my past relationship did not teach me anything let me be honest i did not i did not learn anything from that relationship maybe that i wasted my time i don't know i didn't learn anything from that relationship will you relocate for love i will never relocate for okay wait i will relocate for love if the person is my husband if we are married and the situation that we are in at that moment forces me to relocate then i will relocate for love but if we are dating i don't think so i cannot when in a bad mood, do you prefer to be left alone or have someone to cheer you up? I prefer to be left alone. Reason being, I'm one of the people who believe that energies rub off on other people. And whenever I'm in a bad mood, I usually exude this negative energy, which I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like talking when in a bad mood. And I feel like I sort of like pass that that energy to other people you know ile unaenda kuongelesha mtu na mtu anakuongelesha like hajiski so i'd rather just be left alone i sort out my issues and then believe you me when i am done going through that thing i go back to my normal self so i just prefer to be left alone do you usually stay friends with your exes nope you can never go back to your vomit that's just it would you rather have three kids and no money or no kids with three million dollars? I'd rather have three kids with no money and I don't know how to explain this. Like kids, they just come with their own, their own little energies, their, pers their personalities, you know, they just make life easier, cheerful, more, more fun more anxiety so i'd prefer to have kids with no money we'll just figure things out as we go than have no kids and be a million millionaire so you're your person would you rather date someone you love or date someone who loves you 
I would rather date someone who loves me because I think that I can learn how to love him rather than dating someone who I love yet the person might never love me back I guess <laughs> what temptation what temptation can you not resist what temptation can I not resist? Uh, what? Eh, that one I think I'll have to think about it a little bit more because right now there's nothing that is coming to my head. You get to break one law one time. Which one are you breaking? I am breaking the law on robbery because that means I can get so many things under that one law. I can either go and rob a bank. I can either go and rob the Ministry of Lands and just take their title deed book and just write myself title deeds. <laughs> I can go and rob what? Like I can rob so many things and make myself wealthy. I get, yes, that is one law that I will break. Because the only law that is coming to my head right now What's your go-to song when you're in your feelings? Any old school R&B song. So if I'm in a happy mood, that is what I will listen to. If I'm in a sad mood, that is what I will listen to. So yeah. Uh, what's a skill that you have that you know for a fact you're good at? I don't know if writing is a skill, but that is one of the things that I know I'm really good at. And that is one of the things that whenever I'm a bit low and down, I whenever I just write my feelings down, I express my thoughts. I'm very good at expressing my thoughts on paper than doing it like orally. So I guess that is it. Are you really out here going to the gym like you say you do? I'm so glad that I'm not on instagram or whatsapp saying like hey i'm headed to the gym or hey just from the gym or hey i don't so i'm i'm true to myself i don't do that so i'm out here eating all the junk like i say that i am <laughs> are you good at standing up for yourself no i am not good at standing up for myself at all and that is one thing that i vowed i will really work on the moment i gave birth to my son because i thought that if i am to teach him especially the virtue of courage i myself have to exude that so that he can learn it from me so i am learning how to stand up for myself more and not let people take advantage of me yeah so i'm really not good at standing up for myself Someone out there is having it rough right now. What's your advice to them? I know this will sound so cliche, but everything has its own time. God knows what he is doing. Everything has its own purpose. Even you yourself, you have a purpose in this life. So you just have to believe that your time right now, whatever, whatever rough patch that you're going through, it will soon come to an end and it will serve as a lesson. So everything happens for its own reason. Everything has its own time. Everything has its own season. So this is a, a rough patch is just a season that you're going through and the sun will come out again. So yeah. What's one goal you want to accomplish this year? Actually, being consistent in YouTube and um yeah being consistent on youtube is one goal that i want to accomplish this year i want to stop procrastinating about this platform i i have always wanted to do this since 2016 i had started a channel with a friend of mine and unfortunately we just did one video i actually edited that video and it never made up to youtube because we both had our own standards to what we were visioning for that channel and i don't know we both got busy it just went 
we just forgot about it to say the least but it has always been something that has been at the back of my head my head and all my friends are like see you start every time i tell them you know what i want to start a youtube channel they'd be like see you start so this is one goal that i have put for myself this year that i would really like to be consistent on here and i hope i will take this as seriously as i want it as as i would want to everybody has a preference in a significant other what's yours i i don't have a preference i don't know i really don't have a preference i think my the thing that attracted me to my husband is his personality his personality is what made me like prefer him as a significant other but physical i don't i don't think that i prefer i have a preference i just be smart be smart be ambitious be hard working you get to spend a day with any artist who are you choosing locally nyashinsky internationally beyonce and that is that name someone you care about even though you probably don't mention it a lot i really the one person that i know i don't mention it a lot to or i really don't show them that i do care about them is my mom funny thing i really do care about my mom even though i don't mention it a lot to her and i know she thinks that i don't not that i don't care but she just thinks that she's a by the way but i really do care a lot about my mom mom i really care about you a lot a lot a lot what's a deal breaker for you this honesty liars liars lying liars liars and lying i really that that's a deal breaker be honest do you like pineapples on pizza i really don't care what's on a pizza i can eat it with anything if you could change one of the world pro problems which one are you choosing i think it will be poverty because without poverty so many th so many developmental issues will be solved things like healthcare because so many people cannot afford to access quality healthcare due to poverty due to not being able to acquire some resources so yeah i think the moment we eradicate poverty so many other issues will just fall into place what phrase do you say the most really i know really What's the one thing that keeps you up at night? Oh, let me tell you something. There's nothing that keeps me up at night. The moment I sleep, I sleep like a log. Kama gunia. You can come and just, I don't know. Mabaruti zineza wazi na pigu watapo tu kwa kitanda. And I will not hear a thing, not a single thing. The moment I'm asleep. I am asleep. Nothing can wake me up. So believe me, there is nothing that keeps me up at night. What's the one thing that you love that other people hate? The one thing that I love that other people hate. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Now I am not sure about that question. So I don't know how to answer it. So I will pass on that question. You, you get to play one song for your kids to describe what growing up in the 90s was like. What song are you choosing? Now, I don't have one particular song, but it will be all the old school R&Bs that were being played. Ukoma 90s, Akina Joe, Akina Boys to Men, uh, Casey and Jojo, songs like Bio, no, yeah, Bio, uh, Destiny's Child, J-Lo, Alicia Keys, yes, songs like that. And also, the, those are international songs. Local songs, Akina Isa, Big P, k Rapt. Yeah, those are the songs that I will play for them to describe what growing up for me was like. It's the same as right now, my dad plays a lot of soul music. 
80s 70s 60s so it kind of like gives you a perspective of how it was like for, for them growing up the fashion that was there at that time so the same thing will happen to my kids they have to listen to those songs do you blame others for issues you had a role in yes and no um i know that i do blame others to some extent but i'm also the kind of person who the moment i realize the the role that i played in in the whole situation i do take my time to go back and apologize no matter how long it will take me to apologize i always at the end of the day i always apologize for the mistakes i made or the role i played in that particular issue so in the beginning i might be blaming others but at the end after thinking things through i always realize my mistakes and i go back to apologize how long have you had your phone number my i my dad bought me my phone number and i have never changed it i was in class five class five that was in 2000 and uh, 2003 so for the last 17 years, I have had my current phone number. You have 24 hours to live. How are you spending it? Hey. So I will break it down like this. My 24 hours will be broken down like this. I will spend 12 hours with my family. Is it 12 hours? No, I will spend 20 hours with my family and friends and just making things right on where i had gone wrong just keeping just putting my affairs in order in short and then the last four hours i'd be somewhere vacationing to say the truth not even the last four hours like the last three hours i'd be somewhere vacationing just thinking through life enjoying my last moments and then the last one hour i'd be in church so that is where I think I would die in church. So that's the end of my random Q&A questions. I really hope you guys loved it. I found these questions on someone's Facebook wall. The person was just posting, posting a question a day and people were answering under the comments. I can't really remember the name of the person. I would have given him the credit. But that is where i got these questions from and that i just thought it would be fun for me to answer them on here i really hope you guys enjoyed this particular video please give it a like comment tell me what you guys would like to see on my channel and i promise i will come up with more content more fire content for you guys to enjoy just share 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 subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll see you in the next one bye